At our center, we tend to use autologous rib reconstruction for the ears, which means using rib cartilage, uh, generally at an age, at least six years of age, but generally older, to build a framework that's then placed under the skin, the native skin, and allowed to set up. This usually requires three procedures. The first procedure is to harvest rib, which is the larger procedure, contour that rib graft, develop the framework for an ear, and then place this underneath the skin envelope uh, where there is no ear. And this is then allowed to sit and allowed to, and the skin is allowed to contract over the envelope. And once the cartilage becomes viable, the framework is then there. Now the framework is still affixed to the head and still under the skin. There's some things that need to be done. Generally the earlobe is anterior to the construct and has to be pushed back over the behind it and attached. And there's some contouring that generally has to be done in the canal to make to deepen what is called the concha, which is this portion here of the ear. Once that's done, then the construct is, looks generally normal, uh, but is still affixed to the side of the head. So in the last procedure, the skin behind the ear is incised, the ear is then elevated up, and skin graft, fulvicus skin graft taken from the inguinal area, the groin area, is then placed behind this to uh, line this area. And this is then bolstered in place and allowed to heal. And that lifts this ear construct up, puts it in the position it should be, and generally the ear construct is done. There's usually the opportunity down the road and, and the need down the road to also do some refining uh, smaller procedures to look more aesthetic. Um, once the ear is in place, the advantage of using autologous ear construction is that the tissue is vascularized and in the event that the ear were to get injured or to get cut, the tissue can heal itself. The disadvantage of using alloplastic or, or plastic materials under that is that if it becomes exposed, it can become infected and have to be removed.